Okay, so from the figure fours again, all these variables are there. This position here, this is kind of cool. It's right out of the slam set. I'm actually getting his momentum coming up to here. As he goes and throws the hook, and I stop it, slap, make the way, and drop. Let's take a look at that a little bit. If Josh throws a big right hook, I'm gonna stop hit him there and move in. So we're just tapping right here during the drill, and that's the hit, and that comes in, okay? I could stop hit and just straight punch off of that line. Josh gives me a right punch, fairly quick. So from here, that little position that we did in our c lot slow motion gives me the right punch. I'm here, hook, that makes the way, and there's your drop off of that. He gives me a right punch. From here, boom, I just getting him to turn, moving his space, and he has to catch his balance. That's shown when I'm around, excuse me, around into this position here, and he throws the hook, I can feel him. That's a stop hit right there. We're also showing, like we said earlier, he's at me. That's, the, that's making the way. At that point, we drop and hook, come around. From here, I can step behind him and throw, and I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna rip out his shoulder. Now, moving on, coming around, this is a hit. This is a supported hit. But in the meantime, what's happened, he throws a right hook. I'm gonna block right here, wrap, and go. Now we went over this in detail earlier. Now I'm gonna show you some functional drills and how to work it.